The fundamental principle of voluntarism is very simple. It's wrong to initiate violence against any other person, regardless of badges, laws, or alleged authority. The only time the use of force is justified is to defend against aggression. Almost everyone understands this on a personal level, but they've been taught that this basic rule of social living does not apply in the game of politics and government. Most people already know how to get along with others, and most people want a peaceful and just society. Our morality doesn't come from politicians making laws. Our ability to organize and cooperate doesn't come from the ruling class. When people escape the belief in government, they don't suddenly turn into violent animals. Our inherent right to defend ourselves and our ability to defend ourselves is not served by government. In fact, it's threatened by government more than by anything else. Ruling classes do not produce peaceful coexistence, but rather perpetual conflict and violence. Our belief in government authority takes our compassion, virtue, and good intentions and turns them into power for people who crave power and riches. Of course, the people who benefit most from the political racket will put a good spin on the system and do their best to convince people that it's a social necessity. But ask yourself this, have the thousands of laws, regulations, and taxes imposed on you by politicians made you a better person? Have they made you more productive or more caring? Is the world better off with the politicians taking your money and telling you how to live your life? Or do you think it might have been better off if you'd been allowed to spend your own money and make your own decisions? Is society really best served by a small class of people forcefully imposing a centralized master plan on everyone else? Can the orders and threats of a ruling class make the world what it should be? Or would society be better served by human freedom and respect for individual rights, by voluntary cooperation and peaceful organization? If this second option sounds better to you, maybe you should learn more about anarchism. Some people dismiss anarchism as a utopian idea that would only work if everyone were generous and compassionate. Obviously, everyone is not generous and compassionate all the time. But these people need to look at the other side of the coin. If people are too stupid, greedy, and malicious to be free, aren't they too stupid, greedy, and malicious to be trusted with power over others? Whether people are inherently good, bad, or some of each, giving a person power over others is not going to make that person better. In fact, power has historically been known to corrupt people and make them worse, whereas the discipline imposed by the equal freedom of everyone else brings out the best in human nature. Most people today think that we need some form of government because they mistakenly believe that obedience to authority makes us all more civilized, moral, and peaceful. In reality, it has always done exactly the opposite. Everyone knows that governments can be corrupt, abusive, inefficient, counterproductive, even tyrannical. But most people assume that the way to fix that is to get the right people into power. People have spent centuries trying to create a good society using different kinds of ruling classes, different legal structures, different ways of choosing the rulers, and so on. But every governmental construction has resulted in freedom and riches for some, and oppression, violence, and poverty for others. What if, instead of deciding what the throne should look like, and who should sit on it, all people of goodwill embraced the non-aggression principle? What if, instead of looking to a ruling class to impose our values on society, we embrace the concept of self-ownership? These principles are simple and easy, to the point of being self-evident, but they're diametrically opposed to the authoritarian principles that most of us have been indoctrinated with.
Anarchism does not mean chaos and violence, or every man for himself. Having no government does not mean having no morality, no organization, and no cooperation. Simply put, anarchism does mean that no one is your master and no one is your slave. And that's all it means. If you really want to understand why so much of human history has been plagued by war and oppression, and you want to know how to change it, you need to rethink everything you've been taught about authority and government. For that, I suggest you read The Most Dangerous Superstition, available at larkinrose.com and amazon.com.